Okay, so I just want to show you guys the setup for the lever lap. So what we have here is a lever, which we're using a meter stick as that. You have your fulcrum, which is where the lever pivots. And these little guys right here are going to hang uh, in the little notches on top of the fulcrum. And then you have a lever. And so our goal is to um, see how the lever changes work, specifically changes force and distance. And so there's some different weights that you may add on to here. One of them is this style weight right here. If you're going to use this style weight with a hook on top, then you're going to want to use one of these little slider guys to attach the weight to the ruler. And you can see right here this line, or there may be a little arrow there, that's what's going to be lining up on a specific number on the meter stick. So you can slide that back and forth. Right now it's on, uh, move it to right there, 60 uh, centimeters. Okay. The other option for a weight is one of these kinds of weights. And if you use one of these kinds of weights, this little groove right here will sit right on top of the meter stick. And then you can slide that to whatever distance you need it to be at. Okay. On the opposite end of the meter stick of the lever, you're going to use your spring scale. And you're going to, you want to line your, um, let's make sure that this is in the right spot here. Sorry about that. So you're going to want to line this up on whatever number you're supposed to line it up at. And you can pull down, and then you can read the force in newtons that's being applied there. Okay. So the other tricky thing about setting up this lab is that your fulcrum is set up at zero, or sorry, is set up at 50 centimeters. And what you're going to compare is the distance that your weight is from the fulcrum. Okay, so your weight could be at 60 centimeters, in which case it's 10 centimeters from the fulcrum, or it could be at 70 centimeters, in which case it's at 20 centimeters from the fulcrum, or it could be at 80 centimeters, in which case it's 30 centimeters from the fulcrum. Okay, and then likewise, your spring scale. I'm going to move this to the edge so I have room to pull down the spring scale. Your spring scale can also be different distances. So right here it's at 40 centimeters, which is only 10 centimeters from the fulcrum. So the key idea here that I'm trying to show you here is that 50 centimeters, where the fulcrum is, that's your zero mark. And the distance of the weight or the distance from the fulcrum is always measured from there. So in this case, 40 centimeters is 10 centimeters from the fulcrum. 30 centimeters is... 20 centimeters from the fulcrum and 10 centimeters is 30 centimeters from the fulcrum. Sorry, 40, 40 centimeters from the fulcrum. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, watch this video over and over again or parts of it so that you completely understand the setup for this experiment and then you'll be able to do the experiment quickly.